Spring football for Indiana State is nearing completion as the final of two scrimmages before the blue and white spring game on May 5th takes place this Saturday, tomorrow. But before we preview that scrimmage, how about the new turf? You know, first of all, it's, it's just awesome to be out here. Uh, and just being able to plant and drive and be on your home field. And you know you're going to be here all summer long. And, and uh, just really looking forward to playing a game on here. I, our, our guys have been resilient this spring with, with some of the situations with us, you know, having to be offside a little bit. They, they've handled it very well. And we appreciate that, you know, of them. But there's nothing like being at home. And, and to come out here and have this surface and, and our guys to be able to come out here and get a feel for it. And it's, you know, it, it's, it's, just, it's been great. Great. So, I mean, they've adjusted to it well, and it's a nice reward for them to get out here on, on a nice field like this. It, it's it's phenomenal. They did a great job. The university did a great job. It's top notch. I mean, I, you, you know, from from our president to our administration to Sherrard and all the athletic administration to everybody that was involved in getting this done, this is this is a game changer for us in terms of everything that we're working towards, and we can't thank them enough. Coach Mallory had a message for his team after practice. Man, it's opportunities, guys. You get them, take care of them. And he strongly take believes there are that countless athletes who finally had a day to sweat their rear ends off on the Terre Haute Ball Thursday who are practicing what he is preaching. You know, we've grown as a team, and uh, it's a team that cares about one another. Uh, you know, they've, they've grown together. Uh, you're seeing young men like Tyson Whitner jumping in at the middle linebacker uh, position. Unfortunately, we have Cottrell Moss and Kelvin Broom out right now, but you know what? He stepped in and he's done a great job. Uh, we've had other young men jump in and, and do the exact same. You know, you're seeing Cade Perrot going from tight end to D end and really doing a great job. Zach uh, Larkin, who's been a quarterback, now playing tight end, and how much he's grown. And, uh, you know, you can see it on the offensive line, too. You're seeing guys like uh, Alvin coming along. You're seeing some of the young guys like uh, Sam Thomas and Jay Paris. And it's good to see some of these young guys with their opportunities. Heading into scrimmage number two tomorrow, there are overlap values the offense and defense want to improve on, but also areas where they are impressed by what they see in week four. What discipline and strength, you know, I mean, we're talking about four penalties that we got to cut down to zero, not, you know, normally in your first scrimmage, there's a lot more. You know, I thought we aligned and motioned and moved and everything, and I thought we moved in a timely manner. I thought we called, you know, or I thought our quarterbacks operated the game well, managed and managed us. And, and, you know, I think the, the noticeable thing is our strength, our strength up front, our depth up front, which which we didn't have when we got here. And, and you know, the, the strength between them, you know, we've talked about it a lot. I talked about it the last time from what Gerard, DeKurt, and, and Dave have done with us from a conditioning and strength level is, is off the roof. It's start to finish consistency. I think that the, the, the last go that we had, uh, as we went through it, you know, the, the breakdowns for us are, you know, at some point it all comes back to a lack of communication or, you know, and, and I think that that's where we just need to see consistency from start to finish, from the, from the first snap of the scrimmage all the way to the end. You know, wherever we, wherever we want to put that ball down, we got to just give us a place to stand and, and go play. So that, that's what I think we're looking for, a little bit more consistency. Up front and at linebacker for sure. I mean, you look at those two positions and whether it's new guys or it's, uh, you know, guys that aren't practicing right now or, you know, whatever it may be, I think that for them to come in and, and embrace Embrace that role, and it's like we said, you know, at the beginning, that the expectation is the position. It's it's not it's not just this guy or this guy. I mean, the expectation is 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 the linebacker position. It's the D line position. It's the DB position, and 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 that has to that has to filter on through anybody that's on the field. And we tell them that that you're on the field. You're the most important player in the country at that position because it's you on the field, and you're expected to execute. And and we've had some guys that have come out and really embraced that 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 expectation. Saturday's scrimmage is closed to the public. Next week, we will preview the blue and white spring game as there is more surrounding the game this year with a special partnership. For more on Indiana State football, stay logged on to GoSycamores.com.